If you are looking for a way to customize your WooCommerce cart page, then this video is perfect for you. Hi guys, my name is Yash and today in this video, we will see how you can customize your cart page using Powerpack add-on for Elementor and the Elementor page builder. For this tutorial, you will need these three plugins, Elementor, Powerpack Elements add-on for Elementor and the WooCommerce plugin. Make sure you have these three plugins installed and activated on your website. Now let's see how you can customize your WooCommerce cart page using Elementor. Go to your pages and look for the cart page. Let's see what a cart page looks like right now. So just go to your website and go to the shop page and add a few products to your cart. And once you have added some products, click on the view cart button. So currently this is what our cart page looks like right now. Let's see how you can customize this. Go to your pages, go to the cart page and click on the edit button. Now click on the edit with Elementor button. Once the page is loaded, you will see the default cart here. Let's go ahead and remove that. Now let's change the layout of the page from default to full width. So in that way, you won't be seeing the sidebar. We have the title at the top. Let's add the Woo cart widget on our page. Just simply go ahead and drag the widget. Make sure you see the double P icon at the top right corner of the widget. Double P means power pack. Once you drag and drop the widget, you will see the cart appearing right here. If you do not see the cart, make sure you have some product in your cart. So you will be able to see the cart loaded. Now let's start customizing our cart. In the content tab, you will see two options, show coupon fields and show cross sales. You can enable or disable these options depending on your needs. I do not want to show the cross sales, so I will just remove that. Now move on to the style tab. You will see and get the options with which you can customize the look and feel of your cart page. You can change, make changes to six different sections, which is headings, cart table, update cart button, coupons, cart totals, and checkout button. Let's start with the headings. In this section, you can make changes to the headings like cart tools right here. Let's change the back uh, font color and make some changes to the font as well. Let's increase the font weight and you can also change the spacing as well. Once you have made changes to the headings, you can move on to the cart table. So here you can make changes to how your items in the cart looks like. You can make changes to typography. So let's change the font family here. And you can also change the size for the same as well if you want. Further, you can also change the background color. So let's make it white. You can also add an image as a background. And if you want to customize the borders, you can do that too. Let's add some box shadow. For the table head, Let's change the font and line height so it looks much more spacious. You can also change the text color and the background color if you want. Coming to the cart items, you can add a separator and can choose a separator type. You can change the color and the size of the separator from these options. Further, you can change the text color link color and the background color for your cart, uh, cart items individually for odd and even rows separately. For the image, you can change the size of the image. Also, you can change the width and the padding for the quantity input field. For the product remove icon, you can change the color, hover color and the size of the remove icon.
once you have made all the changes we can move on to the next section that is the update card button you can make this button look much more appealing just by changing the settings right under this section you can change the typography with margin background color text color border padding and even the box shadow For the coupons, you can customize the coupons field and the apply coupon button. You can customize the typography, input height, padding, text color, background color, border type, radius, box shadow, etc. from the settings. And the same changes can be made to the apply coupon button as well. If you do not want to show the coupons section here, you can just go back to the content tab and toggle the show coupon fields toggle button to disable the coupon section on your cart page. Now uh, let's move on to the cart totals option. Here you will be able to make changes to the cart total section right here. You can make changes to the background, border type, color, uh, radius, box shadow etc. For the table text you can change the typography. and can customize the size as well and you can make the similar changes to the table headings as well once you have made changes to the cart total section you can move on to the checkout button section which will be making changes to this button right here just open the subsection and the first option you can customize is the typography you can do the similar typography changes like we did earlier or you can also customize the margins and further you can change the background color of the button as well just choose the color from the color palette and you're good to go you can also change the text color if you want and if you want to make changes to the border you can do that too easily Once you are done making changes, you can just go ahead and update the cart. So this is what our cart page looks like right now before making the changes. Let me just refresh this page and we will be able to see our updated cart page right here. Alright, so this is what our new cart page looks like right now. You can go ahead and try adding new products or removing existing products in your cart. You can also change the quantity and update the cart using the update cart button and your cart will work perfectly. Alright, this is how you customize your cart page using the Elementor page builder. Let me know what you think of this video and if you guys have any questions, just leave a comment down below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. And if you found this video useful, do subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.